If she had only been ugly. We Welcome to Dom Rare's Live from the Laugh Factory. We have a very special show. It's not uh, a comedy as much as uh, more of a hard beating journalistic kind Ther of a doc Dr. Phil therapy. A therapy. A therapy. therapy. It's, because it's to help a dear friend who's lost his way. Uh, without any <laughs> without any further ado, uh, should we catch up a little or just bring him right up? No, no. Let's talk about what he did last time. If they didn't well, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to the fact that as we left Dub David off the last show, Dub David, the terrific comedian. One of great the friend, yeah. uh, a terrific person, has some issues, uh, major, major issues, incredible issues. Uh, but uh, he uh, he had taken the ring back from his girlfriend and they were about to go to dinner and try and explain why he didn't have the ring uh, on no. him. About dinner with, the grand, with, uh, with no. her parents. No, you misunderstood it, buddy. Oh, I misunderstood okay, it. Okay, excuse me. Let me correct you. Go ahead. <laughs> Let me correct you. He went out with the girlfriend and he was pretending they still have the ring i know and she didn't have the ring she, they were didn't still I just say, engaged didn't, didn't See, i they, just say that in, no, they, in, a, in a different language they, they were still engaged they were pretending they're still engaged. i know okay dub david off dub yeah. come on back brother dub david off ladies and gentlemen Thank you. Here, here, here's How your mic you? love you here we go here we go hey dub hi guys so Tell us a little well, bit. Well, first about. of all, congratulations on uh, not getting married. <laughs> congratulations. Be disengaged. How did yeah. you do it? Disengaged. <laughs> you disengaged. I got disengaged. <laughs> no, no, no. What happened was, yeah, that that we, we ended up, uh, uh, the relationship I was in, I was engaged. I, I, I got the ring back on the cover of night. And then uh, How we did you ended get it up, back? I, she had left it. She takes it off at night. Oh, I thought you took it off her finger while she was No, asleep. no. It would be too tight. I would have, but it would be too tight on the, on the, on the yeah. knuckle. That's an awkward thing to wake up to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's a lot of liability associated on pulling a ring off a girl's finger in the middle of the night. The um, No, we had to go out with a parent. You know, we hadn't completely broke. She was still living in the house, and we had to go out with a parent. But I had taken the ring back, and we had become de-engaged. And, and that creates an awkward scenario when her parents are on the impression that you're still engaged. So how was the dinner? Did you fake it? It was fucking awful. Yeah, I faked it. it I tried awful. to. Did you laugh at all? <clears throat> It was more of a swallow. <laughs> there were noises that admitted, but it wasn't really a laugh. The um, no, we were at Pache, and luckily they had crayons, you know, on Pache up here yeah, on Laurel absolutely, Canyon. Yeah. And so I spent most of the time drawing and looking down, and they so thought were you, were you like brooding? They asked me what was wrong. Yeah, well, no, it wasn't a brood as much as it was. I would just smile and try to play along. Uh, All the meanwhile, they're like, oh, so you know, when's the When's the wedding? It was like, oh, for Christ's sake. It's a nice, they make a nice pizza here. Well, you know, I would just continue to try and divert. Well, what did you say when they asked what the wedding was? I said, we, we don't know. You know, I'm on the road. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sailing yeah. around the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm embarking on a, you know, I got a new thing I'm doing with a boat and a sail and a big motor. No, it's, uh, it's, uh, it was a messy game, you know. Where's she at now? <sighs> well, I'm not sure. She's in Canada somewhere for the summer or for for a month, you know. I'm not sure. No, I have to say, she on. was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, I know, unlike the other dogs no. that I screwed up with. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. no, you have me. No, what what was the first one's name that I met? Roxanne. Roxanne. Yeah. Oh. She was beautiful. She was. Yeah, yeah, I listen, to she's a tough one to lose, though. Uh, <laughs> I still all tough to lose. I still have anxiety yeah. about you <laughs> over that loss. <laughs> yeah. Well, luckily, she lives in Atlanta, where you have a gig in June. <laughs> I'm going to be at the Atlanta Punchline. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you know that I'm doing Tropicana in June, right? The end of June. Do you read, read, read that? In the trades? trades? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I hear good things. I read that that show there? is going to be great. Uh, now, before we get to your show in Tropicana. I don't want to plug it. One, one, one question. I'll ask. Let's plug Did it. You took Tom's the ring. Great. How much was the ring, the reason you took it? The oh, ring was... The, uh, was um, it co it co it cost about thirteen five maybe f maybe close to fourteen but it was worth more. I so mean it, it was it, you know I got a good day I went downtown to you know one of the people. Okay, you you bought it for fourteen thousand fifteen thousand roughly it was about 30, 30, 000, fourteen yeah you know something like that. But so that's the reason you took it out back because it was cost money or why couldn't you? Uh, give no, did it you you didn't take? Do you still have the ring, right? Oh, you betcha. 
Yeah, but why <laughs> you would... Bet your sweet, <laughs> you bet your sweet booty, yeah. baby. And if I you're looking to get your own. mitts on a nice <laughs> ring, you talk to me. We work something out. Yeah, I'll get a deal. Mm. Dom, Dom, let me ask you. If you got engaged with a girl yeah. and well, you I know give a ring... There is a custom that says, well, you know, you leave the ring. But in this case, I don't feel like enough time had passed. And I'm not a big custom guy. What did she think? Did I, she have think to, I have to be able to measure it out in my head. You know, even breakfast waitress or whatever, I don't tip according to what they say. <clears throat> Sometimes I tipped 75%. All depends on how many plates move back and forth. Did she think she deserved a ring? No. Oh, well, that makes it easy. Why didn't <clears throat> she deserve... Why did you think she deserved it the time you give it to her? Yeah. Why didn't you think she doesn't deserve it after three Good months question. you slept Good with question. her? When you look at it, when you when you go to buy a building in a real estate scenario, there's a due yeah. diligence process. I mean, you put a deposit down, contingent upon all the systems in that building behaving properly. I want to make sure the plumbing's working. I want to make sure there's no leaks in the roof. I want to make sure before that deposit goes hard, the deposit, I can get my money back out. Our deposit hadn't gone hard yet, and uh, I my vetting process it didn't. Nobody work makes so a better analogy than you. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> well, I'm no, all about romance. No, 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 no. Me, it's all about emotion and heart. <laughs> now, my I don't question, bring business into love. <laughs> my question is: is is it anything to do with plumbing was wrong? What was, <laughs> what was wrong? No, the, well, the, the question psychological that, plumbing. Yeah, the thing that fascinates me. Yeah, is that I know you. I think pretty well, and I just don't. I just want to understand how that you thought you were in that much love that quickly yeah. that you could get married. Well, you know, I wasn't sure about the marriage part, but I thought that the idea of committing to the engagement process, it's almost like joining the military, right? Like, I could, do I know I can wake up at four in the morning every day and go running around but near a helicopter? No, I don't know. But I figure if I sign, uh, if I sign then I've committed myself to it. And it, it's a way of sort of finding out what it is that you the capacity for that kind of thing that you have. So I wanted to experience it because I've never experienced it. And I, I was, you know, I, which I thought was in, it was an interesting scenario, but it didn't work out for other How reasons. How long were you happy? About a week and a half. A week and a half? Yeah. <laughs> That's, what, a, good, that's what, a long time. <laughs> yeah, what <laughs> made like you not be unhappy? What, 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 what a good what, 10 what days, was, you know? She wasn't good laid? She wasn't, what, what was wrong? No, she was good laid. The, uh, she was very what, good laid. <laughs> no, what oh, happened you was, know it. <laughs> no, no, what happened was, Jane, was that, you know, sometimes it's like you work with somebody up front. There were, there were subtle, nuanced psychological issues that you didn't see up front. And I think part of me wanted to believe something. And I end up painting something of a personality that wasn't necessarily there. The broad strokes were there. You know what I mean? You get involved with somebody and you go, oh, they're quiet. And then you, you, like it said, there's a phrase called still waters run deep. And you hope that that quiet is attached to a level of dignity. Not boring. Right. Not, yeah, not she's a fucking, you know, not, not a, you got nothing to say or you're not thinking about it. You hope that there's just some quiet like a Buddhist monk, not right. quiet like a stripper with, you know, no, no, yeah. with the, she, nothing to do on a Saturday night. Did she night, start to you know? bore you? It wasn't. It wasn't so much boredom. It, 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 she had a difficult time uh, with uh, sort of reality. She had a difficult time. Sort, sort of reality. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. She would arrange things in her head. There was a victim hero complex. When you grow up in a severely all alcoholic background, it's a relatively commonplace scenario that you have this sort of. But the work hadn't been done, and I thought that if somebody's passive aggressive, and you go, okay, they're a little passive aggressive. We can talk about it. We can work through it. We can deal with it. I, I didn't find that, that we were able to communicate. I find like, you know, I would say something and then she would have this odd, it's almost like inviting somebody to a tennis game and then they hit you the ball, you hit it back and then they walk out of the park and I'm standing there alone on a tennis court and it was an odd passive aggressive. But did you ever think of it as you? Well, well, yeah, I mean, I'm always open to looking at that. But in this case, it wasn't. I'm How do you know to, it wasn't? Well, I know I'll hit the tennis ball back, right? So in terms of communication, I'm there. And I'll always look at whatever's going on. I, uh, I have all my own issues. I yell too fast. I'm hot-blooded. You know, it, excuse but, me. Can I, can yeah. I, Dom, with all due respect, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> with all due respect, do all respect. You had a, you had, you have a history like that. You went, you, yeah. you went to Chicago, ask a, a girl's yeah. father, do you ma well, want to well, marry her? Yeah. And to a degree, he, you know, no, I mean, that, not too serious. That's what I, but I never got engaged. Oh, never no, got engaged. No, but you took the father out in the yard. 
and you sit down. <laughs> I took him out and you beat the shit out of him. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You smoked a cigar. You killed two of his chickens. This was on a farm. <laughs> <laughs> it was right before I gave him 18 goats. No, you didn't mention no, that. I heard you smoke a cigar with the father. And nah, you said, nah. can I get your permission to marry your daughter? Nah, not really. It wasn't that direct. It was more sort of, we danced around the edges, but it wasn't, it hadn't gone there yet. It was like getting a... It was like <laughs> if you're looking at a building, they're like going to a bank, <laughs> and you get you get a you get a you get an idea of whether or not they'll loan you some money, and then if they'll loan you that money, then you can continue to pursue a diligence process. So you're looking for I money like to they obfuscate give you? the deal. For what you looking for? Money? No, that what was a bank looking? analogy. I'm not looking for money. I'm looking for peace of mind. I'm looking for emotional resonance. I'm looking to feel like he's I'm not looking for somebody completely that alone in the exist. universe. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, looking for, he's looking for somebody. He's looking for the blessed mother who could yeah. dance. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, what is anybody? What are we all looking for, right? We're all looking for, for uh, some existential kind of answer, right? Answer in the form of, oh, it makes sense to be here. I feel as though there's meaning. Although you got to create the meaning yourself, unless you believe in I'm faith. I'm just looking for somebody I can hang my hat on. <laughs> yeah. No, you know what you I'm know. looking for, Dove? The what? Name is Mrs. Dominic John Joseph Ferrer. <laughs> as long as I can get her to change her name to Dominic. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Jamie, how fucking rude is it not to, to it, turn your phone it, off? I, I, I'm turning it off. It's going Are you off. that important? No, no, I'm sorry. It goes on <laughs> without me sure having anything to do with it. I'm sorry. Apologize about that. Apologize. Uh, my only question is with you. Is <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any other questions other than those with me? No, you no, got to no, open up your mind. No, no, no. I'm not be confused about the universe. No. I just have <laughs> questions with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah my only said, question is you with said, you. Yeah, yeah, but you said she was yeah. thinking like a stripper. Was she a stripper? No, no, God, no. no she's no. a model. She's beautiful. But you said the stripping. No, she was wasn't. Stripping. No, no. I, I think it was. It, it actually wasn't a very good analogy. I, 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 she was very quiet, and I wanted to think that there was a sense of self beneath that quietness. You ever meet somebody and you're like, they're not just quiet. Like if you ever been around a, I don't know, a Buddhist monk. You know, I, I met some people, a spiritual kind of, and there was a stillness. You know, there was a decency and a dignity, but it was a stillness. But you know who's like that? Sign of thinking. Oh Se yeah, Seinfeld has that quality. Too. Yeah, there are people that he have is, that. He's so smart and so deep. That his quietness isn't uncomfortable. And ironically, his material is never deep. Well, he, he writes that stuff that, you know, that's the way. He, but, I mean, he is yeah. a deep person. I'm sure, yeah, you know? yeah. But, I mean, and I, that's his, the thing. His material is more clever than Absolutely. Than no, it's clever, yeah. but it's not introspective. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, he doesn't like to reveal himself. But there's a guy, we all have our own issues, that doesn't. Yes. You know what he said to me one time? It was very interesting. Two, two things. One time we were on a plane. And we bumped up to first class for $50. This is how long ago it was. Oh, People, wow, yeah. And it got, it got turbulent, right? And I yeah. said, doesn't this bother you? He goes, yeah, it bothers me, but there's nothing you can do. Yeah. And I'm thinking, but what about the emotion? <laughs> yeah, right, you right. Know? And yeah. like, that's, and like one time he broke up with a girlfriend. He, he used to go out with his dentist's daughter. And he, and I said, he came over to see me. I go, what's up? He broke up with Stace. I go, oh, if you would need to talk about it, you know, I'm here for you. He goes, what yeah. is there to talk about? It's over. It's over. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's yeah. all about not looking into yeah. yourself. But we all have yeah, our things. Yeah, no, that's the thing. And it's like, you know, every now and then, and I mean, I would argue that there's something, oh, there's a fissure there. I, I, I would imagine that you'd think that he would be, what do I know? But you'd think that somebody would be more introspective. But anyway, but the idea, though, that, that there's sometimes a stillness and there's a quiet. Well, and still, kind of still a, water runs deep is a good... It's a good expression. A good expression for that, yeah. Yeah, and sometimes... Because you something's going on yes, there. Because yeah. you, you want to believe that there's something there. And I'm not saying there isn't. There is a decency to her. You know, this was not a girl running around Hollywood. You, you meet people that sometimes they want to be looked at or they're behaving in a way that clearly... There are a number of psychological issues they haven't dealt with yet. She was a great girl. She didn't behave like that. You'll, up you'll front. never meet anybody like so that again. Let <laughs> 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 no, well, I mean, in this case, I mean, it turned out, you know, I, I hope I don't, but I mean, with some of those issues, you know. But G give me a couple of the worst things she did. What was the worst <laughs> thing ever she did to you, or did she fact Dom? Did she fact? Did she fact me? <laughs> <laughs> she faxed me once, and I said, <laughs> "Just call me. How do you fax me? Just, just give me a call. What is this going to be official every time? We, <laughs> every time we contact one another? No, she, the worst thing. That's a yeah. good question, but I don't. I don't know that there was one worst thing as much as there was. You know, you talk to somebody and I would go, well, here's what you said. This is 10 minutes ago. And she'd go, no, I didn't. 
And I go, no, you, you did. I'm positive. And then there would be this strange inability to recall, and then she would sort of twist it. It was this thing where, in her mind, it was a defense mechanism. Well, she could needed she be to a little either bit, be the she victim could be a little or bit the hero. slow or retard no, no, or no. anything. <laughs> she was retarded. She was retarded. <laughs> no, no, which I've always been drawn to. <laughs> no, no. It, I know you're drawn to retard. <laughs> I know you're drawn to retard. A lot of <laughs> retard. retard. Uh, no, I do see that. Yeah. I could see no, it. Listen, well, but, first of all, try and, you know, it, it's hard also in. Los Angeles to meet a, a woman that's bo- I tweeted I tweeted something about trying you know meeting it's like trying to f- meeting an attractive girl who's educated or who's read or thinks you know it's like trying to, f- to find Bigfoot something like that meaning you keep hearing it exists but in this town it's very difficult for me to meet somebody who's sort of that you're attracted to but that, that they don't in some way make a living in part based on the way they look well, and let's when face people it, you're, do that, you're, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. When people no, you, do that, it removes some of the f- formidable nature of their personality. If you don't have to deal with the world in that in a visceral, head-on, confrontational way, you don't develop certain parts of yourself. Well, think of where our social you know. lives revolve around. Right. Comedy I'm thinking clubs, of going on Match.com. Comic clubs and yeah. restaurants. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, right? absolutely. You're not going to meet her at a, a, a seminar for surgeons. You're not gonna, no. you know, we don't go to those things. We no. don't go to, you know. Although I've, I've been trying to get out to them more. <laughs> more, but the other brain surgeons keep going, do I know you? And, no, I don't think so. And then I'm never able to carry a conversation. But yeah, no, you don't, you know, where do you meet? You meet in these environments, which is why I was thinking the idea of going online. You know, I'd like to meet, I'd like for once to meet somebody who, you know, a woman with a, a job and a decent, and parents that, you know, didn't, we're completely yeah. out to lunch, you know? Yeah, but it, could it be something to do with you? Of course because, it is, because, uh, you know. Because you, you grown up in India with the Buddhas. <laughs> and you, are you looking for <laughs> Buddha <laughs> or somebody? The, uh, no, no, no. My mother was on a cult. She was part of a cult. Yeah, we went to India for a little while. No, no, no. You didn't live in a cult? We should get into no, that. No, no, we went there. My mother was on a cult. Yeah, no, I was in and out of that, but I didn't. She, he yeah. was in a cult in India. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I you was went out. to India? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sai Baba's village, you know. He, he would make vibhuti, which is holy ash. He would, in his hands, he would materialize it also with little earrings and a watch or something. And all these people was would a prop follow act? him. He was a prop <laughs> act, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then by the time the sermon was over, he had a plastic nose, Groucho <laughs> Marx glasses. The guy was crazy, but funny. <laughs> <laughs> and talked, and it was you know he was a spiritual leader. But, but. W- maybe you, he's know. looking for the same Buddhas or something. No, no, I'm just I. What I want is some sort of that's I, a Hindu. Then you yeah. wanted the same Hindu. Either way, I mean, it's not so much important what, what we put a label on what Eastern philosophical tradition. It's more you want somebody who has a sense of themselves, who, who's hopefully going to add to you. I just want to smile more than I want to cry. And if somebody can help me do that, wonderful. And if they can't. They gotta go, and in the meantime, I gotta work on myself. <laughs> it's the yeah. saddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to smile more than I cry. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I don't do cry too. often, but I mean, frown. Yeah, I want make, more yeah. smiles than not. You know, you make me think. I don't. Well, what? I don't understand. I don't know how else to do it. I'm just trying but to figure it, it out. Could it be you're like Dom in one point? Like Dom, he finds you somebody. What a killer act! <laughs> <laughs> you mean <laughs> funny? <laughs> <laughs> you mean funny and good with talks? <laughs> <laughs> you mean good with words and language? <laughs> no, yeah. because Dom, he finds the people that yeah. they are really good for him. Yeah. But he pushed them away. I yeah, there's a self-destructive the same, component. Yeah, self-destructive, and maybe yeah. you are the same as him. That's the reason we, both of you, last time you said you, both oh, yeah. of you like kinky stuff. <laughs> you always you know. boils it down to <laughs> another no, direction. That's what you said, both yeah. of you like kinky stuff. That's why stuff. you like dog collars. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, boils it down to, you, you yeah. like those stuff. Maybe that's right. what it is. You trying it's to sabotage your own right. Korea, your own uh, not Korea, right? Your own, in relationships, your relationship. you sabotage your ability. Yeah. It's, it's that's like when that's why it's so important to try and figure out what part you play in the drama. You know, sometimes I ask people in the audience, I'm like, "Why did you guys break up?" And you hear, "Oh, so and so was a douchebag," or "So and so was." It's never that simple, you know. And if you hook up with people that you describe that badly, 
over and over again, then it means you got a problem. It's like when you're talking to some, you know, I was like this stripper that said, why do I always hook up with guys that hit me? And then you find out she's dating a Coke dealer. It's like you got to take yeah, responsibility but, okay, for right. that. This conversation we have in here past yeah. 40, 30 minutes, whatever, yeah. you always, are you attractive? You and Dom attractive stripper. Right, attracted stripper. to people that won't strippers. work out. No, not strippers. strippers. No, no, because no. Because you mentioned, keep mentioning strippers. I mentioned them as an archetype to describe a woman that's very messy psychologically who hasn't dealt with what's going on in her life. Life, but not as an actual. Yeah, but the stripper you know. could be a really a nice person, a doctor or a psychiatrist, need money to go to school. No, that's bullshit. In theory, you know, but yeah. then again, you know, I, I mean, I can. They're, they're, they're dealing yeah. with daddy issues. They're dealing yeah. with a lot of stuff. It's not usually she's going to medical school. Believe me, I've known enough of them. And if she chooses that to go to medical school, it's like what went wrong with her that manifests itself in her decision to choose that because tons of other women end up in medical school that have nothing to do with the stripping game that don't come from money. So I'm very, you know, anytime somebody goes, oh, we're getting a, the sex business just for money. It's like there's something else at play. You know, I, I don't buy that. I mean, it's, it's not possible. I still think it's something is we as a human being, as a guy, yeah. we are, we, you know, we make them because of get money, go to school. Yeah, I sure. Mean, some of them, you know, some of we the girls, facilitate their dysfunction. Yeah. But I still want to be involved with someone without that level of dysfunction. The problem is I'm only attracted to whores. <laughs> you know, the girl that I went out with who was a stripper yeah. earlier in her life. You love that. I love that girl. Yeah, but oh, yeah. she was one of the smartest, but, but, funniest yeah. people I ever met. Yeah, but you yeah. loved her in a wrong way. You would come in here, you show me the, her picture on the phone. Don't her say leg, that on oh, there. Oh, I'm suppose, sorry. suppose oh. somebody's watching this. Oh, well, I'm to, I, I mean, we're talking openly. Suppose somebody you, down. Yeah, but you, yeah. you show me, you're talking me, you're talking openly. Well, you, I wanted to share. Share what? She, her, she opening her leg on top. Well, he's sharing. Was, no, was she sharing. was on the pool table. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He was she, sharing. She, Guy got a pool table and also a woman like on him, it. You shouldn't like see him. that. Like him, first time I met the, uh, you know what he said? Him and uh, Brian mm. Cowan, they <laughs> went, they both of them. They had a girl. That was Dub's date, by the way. That was my date. That was your date. Yeah, I was on a date. Yeah, but both his piece them. came a little too close to your head in that yeah. scene. <laughs> no, no, no. It actually, it actually made contact with the upper cheekbone. Really? Mary. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> Brian gets so into it, and I was hanging on the, off the side, and I was already sort of like, "Wait a second, it's my date. You get first in." Yeah. So he's he's banging her up onto the couch, a missionary, and then I'm trying to get a little piece, so I wrap around. You know, like uh, where were you going to praying go? mantis style? So I'm just trying to get a little piece of head, you know. But uh, I couldn't, I couldn't arrange it, uh, you know, logistically because Callan is 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 blank, that's why I always blanketing the stretch. Woman. <laughs> stretch before <laughs> you, always you go said stretch. You always said stretch. You Once don't again, listen to I didn't me. listen. <laughs> <laughs> you said limber up. Pull a hand. <laughs> you gonna pull a hand. Oh God! <laughs> anyway. You too. You too. I, you it, too. I, I I couldn't do any of that It came up stuff. so hard that it, my piece bounced out, you know, of her mouth, and then. It collided <laughs> with Brian. Oh, well, yeah, because she was like this, and then he goes, ah, and then it slipped out. And so Brian's head was here at that point, and it came back in. And it, it, it you know, it knocked into his cheek like that. Oh, I, yours knocked into his cheek? Yes. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, and I was. So he's your bitch now. Well, clearly, I mean, there's a reason why when we walk together on the sidewalk, his forefinger is in my belt loop from the back. <laughs> no, 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 no. He, uh, no, but that Brian doesn't. He doesn't miss a beat with that. You know, he's hilarious. Yeah, but but he the doesn't thing care. is, that's Brian. You know, he comes in here. After that, he told her he loved her. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah. He goes, "I fucking love you." <laughs> you serious? Yeah. Yeah. That night, uh, while doing it. Said, I love was you. he married that time or no? No, no, <laughs> no. And then Jamie, what, what, no. of course not. Oh, I'm no, sorry. No, of course oh, not. He wasn't married. Oh, no, no, he really wasn't. No. But um, and then the other time years ago when we did it, we was uh, he also said to her, he told that girl he said he says you're a real woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were both <laughs> looked at her. He said, "Dove, this is a real woman." I said, <laughs> I said, you, you're right. Uh, what else am I going to say? Well, you got a hell of a point. <laughs> I'm not irrefutable right uh, it's statements. Irrefutable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dom, did you ever do with two guys the same thing no. as he did? Two women, but not two guys. 
Oh, I, I would have preferred two women, clearly. I, I wasn't doing it. You really? Know. You would have preferred a hot babe over Brian? <laughs> I'm, sh- I'm shocked. You don't say. He's such a good actor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no, but the... Uh, no, no, I, you know, I, I did it because, you know, I didn't want to spoil the night, but... Yeah, you don't want to ruin the night by not letting your friend fuck your well, date. Well, no, but that's the thing, because, yeah, he wanted to bang her, and he goes, she'll, you know, she's in. So in. if... if what that balls guy... he has, though? No, Are no. Are you kidding? I had just come from dinner with this woman. It's not like I rolled... It's not like we were, you know, in the back alley somewhere and we hooked up with some yeah. chick and she's out of her mind you know we went to dinner <laughs> and then i got to the comedy wow. store before you know it bro i was like hey what do you well you know what i'll come home with you guys he said, oh this was when you lived here in Hollywood? when i lived downtown or no it was actually before even before when i was staying down oh okay yeah so wow. if if dom went to dinner with you and he comes home with you and yeah. he said he want to fuck your girl you would say yeah go on, come on yeah, in. as long as i'm my girlfriend if she's you know she well, if he wants to operate it's fine I mean, as long as it's not a girl that you have feeling something for, because then it can get awkward with her. Yeah, but, it's too messy. But yeah, I don't care. You know, if it's the average, sure. But how many girlfriends you share with guys? I don't share any girlfriends. I only share, you know, somebody that, you know, if it's a, if it's something, if there's an actual connection or you like the person, then it's sticky. I, I mean, I stay away from that stuff. I'm not a real swinger. But, you know, if I'm out one night and, you know, and Brian's like, oh, she'll do it, you know, what am I going to say? If you you said, Brian, come what on, am I gonna do say? it. Mm-hmm. His yeah. brother's a swinger, you know. Yeah, my oh, yeah, brother yeah, back yeah, in yeah, the yeah. day. Oh, oh yeah, swinger. very much so, yeah. And he's a psychiatrist or psychologist. Yeah, he's a psychologist. But Orion was the real deal. Orion would, he would go with a girl and, and it wasn't just some late night wild operation. You know, he'd show up in the... It's a BYOB thing, you know, and in the afternoon at somebody's pool, and they all became friends, yeah, you know? Yeah, wow. Dom, did you ever it's have a, a girlfriend you shared with any, somebody else? No. Never? No. So it's no chance. I'm too some, Italian for that. This, is any I'm, chance I'm of, too possessive as well, in, yeah. in a girlfriend scenario. I don't yeah. like that, yeah. So it's no chance of me. Matter of fact, you know, even, the fantasy, <laughs> even the fantasy of the two girls, Yeah. Uh, I was at the uh, the Magic Castle one night, which is always a good place to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> you had Say a, no more. It disappeared. <laughs> you, you had sex in Magic Castle? No, no, no. Yeah. But I was with one of my friends, uh, and uh, I, I had a date, and he brought a, a dancer who I knew from a, a, a tour that I was on. And I never, you know, I, I was, we were just friends. We get back to my place, and my girlfriend had, uh, she went and took uh, her bra off, so she just had a t-shirt on, her tits were jetting out, and the girl just casually walks over, lifts up her thing, and just starts sucking her tits. Really? Uh, yeah. And which was like, I mean, I can't even fathom, like, you know, like sitting there talking to somebody other, and just... Jerking off one of my friends. Yeah, exactly. Hey, how you doing, Bobby? <laughs> yeah. Yo, Bobby, how's it going? Yeah, yeah. Eh? You don't even say anything yeah, before yeah. you've been. Uh, you just what, assume it's hey, okay. Yeah. You, believe, yeah. you believe that game last night? <laughs> oh <laughs> but, my God! Uh, what so, did you do? Well, I didn't do. I, it looked hot for a second, you know. But then my girlfriend got into it too much, and she started to go down on her. And once so she, your girlfriend went down on the. D- yeah, the they start was, making out, which was also fine. Yeah. The tit thing was fine, but once she started going down on her, then I pulled her. I go, no, because I don't want to kiss somebody who just ate somebody oh, who I yeah, don't. Yeah, that's interesting. You know, I mean, it got then it got like a little possessive. I didn't yeah. want I don't want that kind of intimacy. The making so, out, the but tits. I know that feeling. But you didn't I know do you anything mean. with both of them. No, no. Well, me and my friend were standing. They were both straight, and we don't know what to do. Go like you know, start yeah. <laughs> start boxing. <laughs> you at that point, you got a shadow yeah. box. Yeah, prove, prove how straight we are. Your friend was there watching it with you. Yeah, yeah. And we didn't know what yeah. to do. We're sitting on the pool table, and yeah. uh, then I just pulled her off. And she said she really dug it. She thought it was really macho of me to to pull yeah, her off. She liked it, that, yeah, she It's amazing how people get into that kind of like when you make a stand. It's a push-pull kind of thing. Yeah. They want to. Like one time she was playing music. It was too fucking loud. I was in a yeah. snowstorm. And for some reason, when you're driving in treacherousness, I can't yeah. stand really loud noise. i got to concentrate. It was really bad. And she's playing. I said, please lower that. Please lower. She didn't lower it. So I take the CD. I take all of it. And I go, now you don't even have the fucking music. And I throw it out. Yeah. Right? And at the, at, at the end of the night, she says, that really turned me on sure. that you took charge. Well, you on know. a genetic level, you know, they, it's, they t- it's like a child. You want to test limitations, but then you want those limitations to be met by something. Oh, Otherwise, yeah. you keep pushing and you have no yeah. respect for that if they let you keep going. Well, it's a, there's a, it's a, it's a turnoff yeah. for women who can push somebody around. Yeah. Mealy mouth guy. Absolutely. Yes, honey, you know I love you. That's yeah. okay. 
Well, that's why the idea, and I was talking to Brian about it, oftentimes women that I've experienced that are attracted to me or, or you or somebody up front that has the, a degree of sort of a type A-ish kind of formidability, they're often attracted to the same thing that they're repelled by later on. Like, they're attracted to that. They say they want a buddy, a friend. Right. On some level, they don't, you know. I mean, on a genetic, on a visceral genetic level, it's like if you're going to have a kid and you want somebody around to take care of it, you want to make sure that he'll you know, be able to defend the kid. I mean, this is on a genetic level, you know, but they want to, you, you need to have somebody that pushes back because if you just let them keep going, they'll say they want that up front, like the radio or doing whatever, but they need somebody to push back. Otherwise, you'll lose it. You're so lost. So how did this, now how is it now? Because last time you were with somebody, yeah. she ended up working with you. you know? <laughs> oh, no, yeah, right, right, right. right yeah. So you ended up in a work yeah, relationship, yeah. almost like, almost yeah. like a platonic yeah, yeah, absolutely. Very platonic. Yeah. So now how's this ending up? I mean, is it, she still in the country? Uh, she's in, uh, uh, she's in, um, what the hell is she? She's somewhere off the coast she's of got, Canada. She's got modeling gigs, right? Well, yeah, a little bit, but, but she's also staying with a friend and she wants to go out and spend some time in nature. A friend lives on an island somewhere, a real remote place. Was it real traumatic? So funny. Up. No, because it was sort of like a cancer patient, you know? It's like once they were, you see them, you see them. You, the grieving process had taken place prior to the breakup, you know? Because right. you just saw it coming. It was one of those things. Yeah, if yeah. it was a surprise, you know, you can really get leveled by that shit. But, well, I'm not going to say that I have uh, <laughs> Nostradamus, but I saw it coming as soon as I heard you were engaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you weren't the only one. But yeah, yeah, no, it's a challenging game. And you know what's interesting about that? You really can't tell a friend because they think you're the buzzkill. Yeah. Like if I say, if I it's came hard. to you and go, Dove, what are you yeah. fucking thinking? You know, no, no, you, you can matter. always tell me that. I know, but I mean, you, you got to pick I know what you mean. You it's hard to. Yeah, you got to pick your spots. Hey, hey, excuse me. But you did say that. You you talked to me and you said, I just want to make sure you know what you're doing. I appreciate that. You said that when I told you we got engaged. Yeah, but you remember the first girlfriend you had? I came to you. Yeah. I said, that girl, something wrong with her. Next thing you know, she you told her, she, Jamie doesn't like you. She made a pretzel with a uh, with a chocolate <laughs> <laughs> she bought <it. laughs> you remember that oh, the old <laughs> do you remember that yeah who was that oh yeah who was it she became your uh, your uh, whatever oh no you, you remember the first girlfriend that girlfriend came in here yeah. not the first one the second not one the after one, you broke out yeah, you know who it was the, the one from chicago Oh, 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 right. Um, yeah. You, you know. Then you told her and she came. What do you mean she, she made chocolate covered pretzels? She made chocolate made chocolate right. pretzel with it because she likes my, I like, he told she her want, I like chocolate and she yeah, made the chocolate yeah, with pretzel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, it's important to me that anybody I'm, I'm, that, you know, it's, you know, they should. Uh, make sweets? They should make sweets and they should, they should make friends with Jamie. <laughs> No, but the thing I can't understand it, yeah. please, both of you, you're, I have one girl I know, and he knows. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This girl, she comes to me, she said, she yeah. said, Jamie, and she's very, very attractive. Yeah, she sure. said, Jamie, I love to have Dom to put me in a cage. I love to yes, have Dom. Yes, yes. I remember what you is, telling me about yeah, this. What that make, why is that? What I'm a lion is, tamer. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I always wanted. <laughs> Clearly, if no, you had any said, ambitions, there's a circus related. That's your guy. <laughs> <laughs> what she said, yeah. she said was, uh, she saw the, these beds, I guess in an S&M magazine, and she wanted me to buy one of these beds. Like, I'm yeah. going to put that in my house for my, when my family comes over. <laughs> well, you need What's it. the cage for? <laughs> yeah. You know, but there, yeah. but there was like a hole in the bed and there's a cage in it. Yeah. So she wanted me to put her in the cage and she said, just use me whenever you want. Yeah. Unless I have to go to work. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and, uh, and that was, yeah. uh, but that was her fantasy. But you know. You, I, meaning, uh, is, uh, is she type of person she want to be abused? Yeah, she, submissive. It's not but, submissive. Yeah. But they always have their own no, rules. submissive. Is it something that they want to be abused? Is something like uh, what's the name of that, that killer would take the girls, put them in the basement? No, 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 no. It's not. No. It's a fantasy. It's a fantasy. You're talking, yeah. When you talk about a killer, you talk about a whole different world. It's like you know some some girls enjoy it rough, but that doesn't mean they want to be raped. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's a whole different. There's I a, think a, a lot of them. I think a lot of them enjoy a rough 
You know, if it's right, if yeah, it's yeah. done right, they enjoy it. You know, what? Uh, and this is new again to me. You, What's rough you gotta means? Go, you got to know the key words like "ouch," <laughs> yeah. "ouch," <laughs> yeah, or nine one one. No, no, rough is, but it's also that's another very natural thing. It's a What's very natural rough? response rough to want to be dominated. Like he got the girl who was kissing well, another girl, he grabbed her with her. Yeah, choking. Yeah, yeah, I just grabbed her, pulled her by the hair, and yeah. she dug that. Oh, of course, yeah, they all like that. Choking. A lot of like <laughs> choking. Too? Yeah, they like choking. Oh, yeah, I read about yeah, somebody yeah. choked the girl. They weren't having sex because yeah. of right before they have sex. Well, no, she that's, died. that's. Oh, no, I don't know. I mean, they went too hard, clearly, but, you know, a good choke. He killed her? Anybody. Yeah. Oh, well, that's. That's a whole nother We're talking game. about that fantasy, nothing yeah, yeah. In, in the same universe as that kind of stuff. No, no you're not no, trying to I don't think you all her. of a sudden, you build up to that by... <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> right when you pick <laughs> her up, you're like, here's some flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, you have a romantic night and you're choking? Oh, yeah, yeah, right when I pick her up. I ring the bell, she comes to the door. Before anything is said, we go. <laughs> That's what you do? No. That's what no. you do. You spend hours together and there's other nice things that take place and there's enough softness and then you get to the point at some point, you know, where you're sick of all that. You, you, you're a little, you know, it's a so natural you get, thing. You get, you two get... Not me, I say everybody. Us too, like we're a team. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I don't you, touch her. Dom walks in. <laughs> Flying Melinda. <laughs> Ta-da. No, I've been banging for about 10 minutes. I called Dom. He comes <laughs> in. He chokes her. <laughs> no, but you too, you, and the stuff I never heard of. Well, you, it's you not everything. It. We're just talking about variable scenarios. It's yeah, not no, that there isn't normal. regular... Sex and regular okay. times and fun and. But don't you don't you uh, enjoy the part romantic? I'm more worried about. The more interesting thing that I'm more worried about is whether or not, uh, and me or Don, anybody who's lived their life in in their own sort of non non married non monogamous fashion, whether or not you've conditioned yourself to be unable to connect deeply on a sexual level with a single person, and whether or not it's capable to sustain. Some emotionally resonant scenario with somebody. I, that's what I'm wondering. I'm well, writing about it. I'm writing a book I, right I now. I think both of you. I think both of you. You have something. I'm serious. No, no. Something that's mentally wrong everybody's with Everybody's got something off. No, something Everything. is wrong because <laughs> my grandparents, my grandma, they yeah. loved each different other. Different culture. They, it's they a different culture, different time. Lovely. Now look at you. you my my grandfather. But, I I could imagine. But they didn't my, live in Hollywood. Grandma. That's funny. You should say. I ever tell you that story about the guy who uh, with the stripper that he was in love with. About not think, bringing home girls for him? No. Well, he said oh, the no. same thing. This right. friend of mine in Florida, yeah. he he always you know he he owns a couple strip clubs. He's always yeah. going out with a stripper. Yeah. And he he said uh, you know he and I liked the girl and and Sophie yeah, sure. my girlfriend liked the girl. Yeah. And he said yeah we're thinking of breaking up with her. He said, I said why is that? And he said she won't bring girls home for <laughs> yeah, me anymore. Right, right, yeah. And I go. Can you imagine your grandfather saying that yeah. to your grandmother? Hey, Lu Louis, uh, how come <laughs> yeah. you don't bring the girls home for me anymore? Yeah. I'm out of this marriage. Yeah, it's, you know, it's all contextual, right? It's a different culture. It's a different time. It's very difficult to compare. But you know. could it be mentally honest to God? I'm not saying it because we we talk. I mean, it. women didn't have the right to vote. What you know, 80, 90 years. Oh, now ago? you got to choke them because they have right to vote. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see the. I don't see how you don't jump from that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay, you can That's vote, why. but I, I choke. I would never have choked them had I not found out that she was politically active. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have wrapped her up like that. No. But yeah. no, but what really? I mean, I I can I can I mean I could get romantic. I could yeah. be having you know yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. Everything sexual, but I couldn't imagine hitting a girl or choke her or grab you her hair. Try. I couldn't do it. Try it. Try it for what? For for you know because it's it's good for the, it's good for them. It lets them know. No, no, it's not disciplinary. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Let them know their place, Jamie. No, listen. You you beat them up in other ways psychologically. <laughs> How do I beat them up then psychologically? I don't know. I'm sure you do though. I mean, you can be. You can be a challenging guy to deal with psychologically. Did, did I ever tell you about the guy in uh, Montreal Comedy Festival about beat the bitches? No. I was I was hosting a thing called uh, New Faces, and he was a young black kid from Brooklyn. He had a very good set, and he should have just gotten <laughs> oh, off. Oh, you did tell me. Yeah, I, I, I haven't heard the police. Uh, yeah, he should have yeah. just gotten off and said thank you. And he and for some reason he was in this philosophical mood. Yeah, yeah. He had to be profound before he got off stage. So he says, he has yep. a great set. He walks over to the stage left and he goes, I just got to say something. And I'm ready to take him off. He goes, 
gentlemen, we have to stop beating our bitches. <laughs> it's wrong to beat the bitch. He goes, I'm not saying sometimes a motherfucking doesn't deserve it. But it's oh. wrong to beat our bitches. Thank you. Like he, like that's, that's really like we funny. didn't know that. Like, oh man, yeah. he really straightened me yeah. out. Yeah, and to think, you know, the last guy who everybody listened to was Martin Luther King. Now, you could have got like that on the platform. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I, 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 I got it. Is there any book or something I can watch and read about you can, this? You can watch a couple books. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I no but watch there's not a book. Of... Learn about this stuff. I mean, maybe it's something I haven't experienced. Could it be something you guys do I don't experience? Yeah, no, it makes sense to do it. You should try it. Just choke someone. <laughs> you just that you just do. Just, the other stuff's more complicated. Yeah, but That's natural. You choke them and just you see just them. Just for you fun, Jim. Jim, you don't really choke them like in the sense <laughs> that you, you, you like, see them, you snap choke their them. windpipe. Yeah, no, this has nothing to do with sex. Like if you're at the coffee shop, then you <laughs> latch on. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just in certain contexts. You know? How? How? Yeah, explain it to me. Please. Well, because you. You feel the person out. You see what they want. Yeah. Like the girl you're talking about, I've slapped her a few times <laughs> for fun, yeah. and she loves it. Like yeah. back, you know, when when she's waitressing. Yeah. Oh, boom. She goes, you know, she goes like, like real sexy. She goes, but I'm not really going to hit her or I'm going to fucking put a mark on her face. Right. Yeah. It's like fun stuff. Fantasy. Fa Remember the word fantasy. Yeah. yeah you're yeah. acting like you go up and just fucking start choking somebody no. and start punching them in the face. <laughs> That's called a felony. Yeah. Yeah, That's called yeah. assault. It's a yeah. big difference. So what's yeah. the choking? Tell me about it. I don't know. They lose air, a little asphyxiation. There's kind of something sexy. I've never been choked. It's, it's, uh, it has to do with Have you the, done it? Of course I've done it. Everybody's done it. It's the nature. No, everybody hasn't done it. Well, apparently not, but I guess. But you think. Well, the, time, think everybody the, the time before <laughs> you have sex or before you get take her, her clothes off? No, yeah, off, before you, you get do? to know her. That's when you let you on. You really begin choking <laughs> early in the relationship. <laughs> no, no. During, it's a natural sort of like in a, you watch a film or a story. I think it's a natural human inclination to want to mix it up a little bit, you know? It's like pushing the envelope without really pushing it, you know? You know, they're experiencing, experiencing danger. The, the idea, the reason why monogamy is so difficult in part is because of safety. You want to create an environment that's safe without being too safe. Otherwise, the heat dies down. Why, why you got to be safe? Why you got to, you couldn't be something safe? You put nah, you want to create a little bit of danger. You can do all that and choke someone. But you ch choke them too? Absolutely. Because otherwise, it's just the heat all dies. It's like if it's just safety, then what the fuck are we, you know, it's like, it's like if we never died. It's hard to appreciate the flowers if they're going to be there forever. So you got. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You, 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 you got to. You make floral or you you, yeah. floral references. Yeah. You mean no, no. you got to kill them or something? No. He said <laughs> flower doesn't die. What that mean? He means that if you, you, if you never do, died. You wouldn't appreciate life as much. Somebody said that death is the mother of beauty, meaning if every day you walk out for eternity and you get to see the same thing, it's impossible to appreciate it with the same reverence and or poetic experience that you would be able to otherwise. So you got to experience the death. No, on a euphemistic level, it's nice to be able to push the envelope. Do you mind if I bang my head against that table? <laughs> <laughs> so you you mean have you experienced you two of you experienced death? Yeah, we both died. We both died and we yeah. resurrected. About we fifteen are, no, minutes ago, we're the, we're, no, no, we're the messiahs. Yeah. No, but you say experience death. What that means? No, no, know? not experience it. Experience pushing the envelope, right? So even artistically, it's like when Dom gets up and talks to the crowd. The, the way to you just stand up there and talk to people, even though you're not trying, even though the, ultimately you know there'll be a laugh there, is challenging. Most people, when they get on stage, they're just trying to, trying to you know, uh, paddle. You're trying to, uh, what's it, when, when you're water, tread water. You're Tre treading tread water, water most of mm -hmm. So that's why a lot of times in comedy you see somebody get up and it's a lot of, dit dit. and after a while, once you get comfortable doing that, it allows you to relax a little bit. And then you don't need a laugh every two seconds. You can experience other things. It's pushing the envelope of whatever you're doing. I think, you know, it's like venturing out into the water in a different way. If you fucking, if you lay there every night, every night it's missionary, you eat the same thing, you go to bed by 11 o'clock and everybody's playing it safe. I want to blow my fucking brains out. It doesn't even feel like life anymore. I don't know. I, then again, I, that's not healthy. I, 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 I got a relationship that makes me want to kill myself. You wonder why these things don't work. Don't, I, I, I swear to God, I would be very comfortable to... Yeah. 
eat, go home, make love, yeah, yeah, and go yeah. to sleep. And I don't need right. to kill somebody. But you need I mean, other you things. You don't need to kill somebody. No, but to hurt somebody. <laughs> You're totally misinterpreting <laughs> this. You want to hurt somebody. No, I don't want to hurt anybody. I want to love I'm somebody. Very, I very feel great no, no, what no. I do. No, that's fine. That's all fine. But, yeah, but you, he said you experienced something. I haven't done it. I don't know what it's about. You do it in your own way. You're a sick fuck in your own way, Jamie. You do it in your way. You push the You got the yellow fever. Ways. He's got the whole yeah, yellow fever course. thing. Does he ever? You kidding? This guy's got a full denang. I mean, you, to get what he has, you'd have to go to Vietnam in the 70s <laughs> and get bitten by a large mosquito with, with something with a malaria. Suck the poison out. Suck the poison out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, this guy's got a heavy. Uh, no, but he is, is heavy on, cholera. I'm really the time you guys, you two, talking about this stuff. I get so fascinated. I get so. I don't uh, know I'm, why. I'm getting so uh, um, amazed by it because I never basic. experienced that. Between. Well, look at him. He's hard as a rock. <laughs> <laughs> you call this fascination. <laughs> in, no, I mean, what, it's, it's something is, for me, is new. I never, yeah, yeah. I mean, I experienced everything you guys done in life, but I never experienced that. I, we got to get you more in the, I got to learn more about this stuff. I got to learn more. Now, <laughs> let me ask yeah. you one question. It's yeah. very important. The yeah. night you went out with the dinner, with that girl. Yeah, yeah, sure. Now, the night you took the ring away. Yeah. In the morning, she woke up. What she said? Well, no, because we were getting into a little bit of an argument. And I think during that argument, I knew it was. In the <laughs> and I, it got to the point where I just said, listen, I took the ring back. And she said, okay. So you were in an argument. Yeah, we were we were getting in a yeah. It was a little heated. Okay. okay. Thank Good. God it didn't go any further, you know, before you uh, got out. Well, thank God know, you didn't right? have a kid Could together. You imagine, yeah. Can you imagine you have a kid together? And yeah, listen, I don't have any kids. I've been engaged one time. It's like I mean, no, I, you've I, been engaged many times. Stop. One time. S excuse me. One you time. asked the Officially. father. Excuse me. That doesn't make him engaged. I but never went out and bought a ring. I never got engaged to the person. I never got engaged. But you asked the father to get engaged, not being engaged. He choked the father too, no. by the way. <laughs> yeah. Did you? Did you? No. Did you? No. <laughs> no, 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 really. It's, uh, it's, it's not. It's more like sort of asking, and then you continue with the vetting process. It's like a, like an interview, job interview after a while. And then you decide whether or not you want to take somebody on my, as a my partner. My biggest question in here, with your permission. Last question. we got to get out of okay. here. Yeah, yeah. One question. The time you went with the the girl yeah. and her parents and her you parents. had a dinner yeah and you uh, you fake you were engaged just a filibuster yeah. or a question <laughs> no no the, yeah, you, were, yeah. you were you fake you were it, engaged yeah. Yeah. after the mother and father left yeah. you went home together what did you do we went to sleep. I was, I was, I was, I was all tuckered out from faking it. <laughs> but did you make that love or anything? You. It drained you. Did you never you act like you're gonna get married? Did, 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 yeah, but did you make love or anything? Uh, I don't remember whether or not we banged that night, but it's quite possible. You see, that's a sickness I can get through my head. That's, <laughs> well, a, that's a mental sickness. Well, you I, go, yeah. you go there, this all the stuff you do, and then you go home, you bang. Yeah, yeah. And it's just well, at least it's civil about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, better. he loved the girl. She yeah. loved him. It just didn't work. Yeah, we just didn't work. And uh, we will have Dub back again. Yeah, yeah, and, we'll come back again. We'll do it again. We'll, uh, I gotta flush find, this we got to find out about his relationship more. All right. Yeah. I got to learn about this. I'm going to get the girl. I'm, I'm telling you, for yeah, next yeah. time you come in, I'm going to get a girl, and I'll take her home, and I'll start choking her. Yeah, you should do that. Dub, where are you doing stand-up the next month or so? Uh, La Jolla. I'll be in La Jolla this weekend, and then I go to... I did the benefit in June and then the land. Oh, man, Miami, Miami. Oh, Miami Improv? Yeah. Oh, good. That's a cool one. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll be in Atlanta. I told you in oh, uh, right, New Atlanta. Jersey. And you're going to be <coughs> in uh, Weather Corner. You're going to be in uh, uh, what's the name of uh, the, the, the Tropicana? And, uh, Tropicana. Yeah, yeah Tropicana. And you, the big that's, room. That's 2,000 room, 2,500 When are you going to be out there? June 30th. Thanks for being on the show, man. Yeah, thank Great you. Great job. Yeah, 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 sure. Thanks. Very and insightful. anytime you want to come in Chicago, yeah, yeah. You know, thank you, everybody. You have a we'll figure it out. We'll red carpet. Sorry red carpet. about Jamie. <laughs> well, so sorry about what? Because I'm learning all about the Jamie, tremendous. Sex, sexual choking and all of <laughs> that stuff. Joking. You know, I, if I get arrested, I want to let everybody know. If I get arrested, please know. These guys, they told me to do it. If she had only been up.